Robert Downey Jr. walks out of an interview. Journalist Christian Guru Murthy, what a name, huh? Uh, it, this is a guy that he's pissed off other celebrities by asking kind of personal, touchy questions. To me, he seems kind of like a, you know, a douchey piece of crap. Um, but he, he brought, they brought Robert Downey Jr. in for an interview just for promoting the movie, The uh, Age of Ultron, Avengers 2. And he, he asked Robert Downey Jr. a bunch of personal questions, but the one that kind of spoke to me was... Um, where he asked him, "Are you are you free of everything you did around the time when he was like an alcoholic and stuff?" It's not uncommon for journalists to ask personal questions to celebrities, but um, I'm not a celebrity. I'm trying to be a YouTube personality by doing all these videos and stuff. But I, when I was younger, I I had a lot of people go through this too. I had a problem with alcoholism really bad. Um, a lot of people already know that. A lot of my friends. My parents wanted to put me in rehab. Uh, I, I hurt people, and that that's just not me. I don't do that. I did a lot of stuff I'm not particularly proud of. When I was an alcoholic, there's two or three years of my life where I don't really remember anything because of it. I just, because of my, because of my childhood and stuff, I was so depressed and so eaten up over everything that happened to me with kids picking on me and my weight problems and problems with relationships that I was, the only way I could be happy was just drunk 24-7. And it seems like Robert Downey Jr. had a bout of that himself, just acting wild like that. Just being an alcoholic. There was times when, I guess he woke up in someone else's house. From If I remember that from when I was a kid. But I think there, there should be, a, uh, after a period of time, after working hard and making up for your mistakes just apologizing to everybody and trying to move past that. And this is a guy, too, that has tried to move past that and lead a, a better life, become a better person, and I think he has. Um, it should be forgiven after a while and just forgotten about. I mean, it, it'll always your past will always be a part of your life no matter what. It's what makes us who we are. As people, if I wouldn't have gone through what I had, I wouldn't be who I am now. But that one comment that this interviewer, or the, the question that the interviewer asked Robert Downey Jr. is probably one of the most douchiest, shittiest things anyone could ever say to someone that's had a problem in the past. I would, he handled it very good because I probably wouldn't have handled it as well as Robert Downey Jr. had. I would have started name calling and calling this guy an asshole. Robert Downey Jr. just calmly got up and said it was getting a little too Diane Sawyer for him in there, which was a pretty funny remark. He later went on the Howard Stern show and called the guy a muckraker and. Um, I I would have had more choice words to say about this guy. But if after having personal problems like that, you're not going to want to be... You don't want that shit brought up and thrown back in your face. Especially how many years was ago was that? Like 20-some years ago that Robert Downey Jr. went through all that shit? It's like, why? Why are you bringing it up? You know, who the fuck cares anymore? He's, he was there to promote a fucking new movie. It, a movie that looks fucking awesome, in my opinion. I can't wait to see it. But it, that, a lot of people had the same opinion that he was right to walk off. But I would have walked off and did something a little more dramatic. I, w I probably would have went the route of a prank. I probably would have called the guy an asshole, but after that, smeared dog shit all over his car or something. Something along the, those lines, you know, like pissed on his desk, something like that. 
But yeah, that that's my opinion on the matter. The guy's an asshole. Certain interviewers should. <laughs> I I don't know. That is. I guess that's all I have to say on that matter.